it's only the competition that scares because 10 certificate is seen everywhere. So there's cutthroat competition among the children. Okay. Otherwise, your consistent effort will take you through with good marks. Okay, so let's begin. I'm sharing the screen. We'll start from where we had done earlier. Have you seen your Sunday test paper? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Who has gave, seen? I may give I marks. Huh? I may give marks then. Yes, I gave marks and you soon you'll get to see your paper also. Okay? You'll get to see your answer sheet also. The correct and answer sheet also you'll be able to see. Mom, where are the marks? See, you will not get the marks because you will uh, see your answer sheet only directly because you had not get, uh, submitted the paper. Oh. Okay, it's marks will be seen only when you submit the paper on the visa. So there you can see the marks, but you can see your answer sheet, corrected answer sheet that will be uploaded soon. Okay. Okay, and for the coming Sunday, I've told you, we'll have objective test on real numbers. Okay, we have alternately objective and subjective. And for any doubts, you know, you have a doubt group also, maths doubt groups. Okay, if you have any doubt, any question that you don't know, you can post that question, take a picture of that question and put it on the group. Okay. So, whenever it is seen, you will get your answer. Okay, so we were studying about zeros of the polynomial. Okay, let's see what we had studied in the previous class. Let's quickly revise that. Now, polynomial is an algebraic expression which includes variables, coefficient, operations, positive integer exponents. Now, variables, you know, x, y, these are variables. Okay, the alphabets that are used. Alphabet ke aage jo laga hota hai, that is called the coefficients. Okay, and the power of x is the exponent and these signs in between plus minus these are the operations okay then we studied degree of polynomial so highest degree of the polynomial is the degree of the polynomial so suppose this is the equation in the highest degree you can see here is 2 okay so that is the degree of this polynomial is 2 so any power, any uh, polynomial with degree highest power 2 is called a quadratic polynomial. Any polynomial with highest degree 1 is called a linear polynomial. And any polynomial whose degree, highest degree is 3 is called cubic polynomial. Okay. Then coming to zeros of the polynomial. In this chapter I told you we will be mainly studying about quadratic polynomials. Linear polynomials you have already studied in your class 9. This time you have quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial also you will study. Okay, but mainly quadratic. Then next we have zero of a polynomial. So just now I said zero of a polynomial is that value of the variable at which the polynomial equation equates to zero. Right? Variable ki jis value pe equation ki value zero ho jai, usse hum zero of the polynomial kehte hai. Got it? Variable ki jis value pe polynomial ki equation zero ke equal ho jai, usse hum zero of a polynomial kehte hai. Are you understanding? Variable ki wo value, variable ki wo value jis pe polynomial ki equation zero ho jai. Okay. Now, suppose if you have, say, any equation, if I take any equation here, any random equation, I take. You have done so many equations from class 8, you have been doing factorization. Okay. So, suppose if I take the value, uh, take some equation x cubed minus 4x equals to 0. So, 
if I take x here, this is a cubic equation actually. So this will have three zeros. Okay, this by chance I took this because this equation is here in front of me. So I'll take this x out. You have x squared inside here. Okay. Then you have this can be written in the form of x a square minus b square. Like this, you will have x plus 2 and x minus 2 equals to 0. So what are the zeros here? This we will we can have this whole equation equals to zero if we have this x equals to zero or we x have equals this to x zero equals to minus two or we have this x equals to positive two. Is that so that means since this was a cubic equation, so this is an example of cubic equation. How we can say that cubic equations are three zeros? So this is one example of that. Right? So by chance you have got an example of cubic equation also. So this is one zero, this is another, this is another. Got it? So if I put, now I have got these three values of zero. Okay, now if I put any one value, suppose if I, if in this equation, if I put x equals to uh, zero, if I put x equals to zero in this equation, what will I get? Zero minus four x. Okay x is again 0, I will get it to 0. So, if the whole equation becomes 0 here. So, that means this is a verification. We are verifying it. Ki aisa actually mein hai kya nahi? Kya variable ki wo value pe equation ki value 0 ho rahi hai ya nahi ho rahi hai. So, we are just verifying it. Okay. If I take the value x equals to minus 2. Ab jaha jaha x hai waha waha mein minus 2 rakhi hai. Thik hai? So minus 2 cube, minus 4, and minus 2. Let's see what we get. This becomes minus 8, and this becomes 8. So we get 0 here. Polynomial key equation 0 away. Yes. Now x equal to 2. Ab jaha jaha x hai, maha maha mein. x ki value 2 rakhi hai. So here I get 8 minus 8. That again gives me 0. So here I see that for all these values, I am getting the value of the polynomial equation to be 0. So, this shows that these are actually the equation uh, zeros of the polynomial. Verified? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Any doubts in this? Anyone, any doubt in this? Okay. And we studied about zeros of a polynomial. Huh? And then we studied about number of zeros of a linear polynomial. Now, when we are talking about linear polynomial, linear polynomial means whose highest degree is 1. So that means highest degree 1, how do we get the values? We can plot it graphically also. I have shown you and we can do it algebraically also. This way also we have seen. So algebraically, how do you find out? First, you take the values of x and y. Okay, and when you take the values of x and y, you plot it on a graph paper. Okay, and for a linear polynomial, you will get a linear graph. Okay, a straight line graph. Right, and wherever this intersects the x axis, that point is the zero of a polynomial. Okay, could you do it on a new graph, ma'am? Yes. No, could you draw it on a new graph, ma'am? Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so wherever it intersects the x-axis, this point is called the zero of a polynomial. Now, how do we know that what is this point? Because we have, on a graph, we have taken the point is lying between minus 1 and minus 2. So, the algebraic equation will give you the exact value here. Okay, this is the equation when I equate this to 0. Minus 4. You get minus 4 here and 3 in the denominator. So, value of x comes out to be minus 4 by 3. So, this is your value of x. So, this is the 0 of the polynomial. Is this the 0 of the polynomial? In place of x, you will keep the value of x. Okay. I'll show you again. Let's see. One second, let me change the pen color. Okay. Now I had taken the polynomial px equals to 
three x plus four. Now we are doing this graphically. Okay. Now see. Now graphically, जब भी हम कोई चीज को करते हैं, now what do we need to find out? We need some points of x on that and some points of y on that. तभी तो हम plot करेंगे. Until we have the points of x and y, we cannot plot a graph. So randomly, I am taking the points here. You can do it on your graph paper. Okay, this side we have x dash. This side we have y dash. Why I am taking y dash? Because these are the negative y axis. Okay, now I take the value of x here. I take the value of y here. Now, what is y? Now, y is this polynomial itself. Okay, y is this polynomial itself, which is equal to 3x plus 4. So, I take all small values of x, 1, 2. Now, let's see how the value of y what the value of y stands on it. So if I put the value of x equals to minus 1 here, what will I get here? This will become minus 3, so 4 minus 3 will be 1. If I take x equals to minus 2, in place of x, if I place minus 2 here, this becomes minus of 6. So 4 minus 6 will be minus 2. Just a second, I'll, I'll just plot it and I'll use it. Then suppose if I place 0 here, then whole term becomes 0, we have just 4 here. If you place 1 here, then you have 3 plus 4, 7. If you place 3 here, sorry, 2 here, 2, 3 is 6 plus 4, that gives you 10. Okay, yes, Aryan? Ma'am, why are we put, like, why are we keeping y, y equals to p of fx, ma'am? See, y is the value of the function. Y is the dependent variable. Yes, Yesterday also I told you no dependent variable. X is the independent variable. Okay. X is the independent variable. Y is the dependent variable. And as per the equation, this will give this is the independent variable and this whole thing is the dependent. So I'm taking this as y. Okay. Yes, I've just given it the name y. Whereas yes, this is the polynomial function itself polynomial equation. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Dependent and independent. Dependent. Okay, the y is dependent, this is independent variable. Yesterday also we spoke about independent and dependent variables. Understood, Arif? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so for all these values of, I have taken all small points because they are easier to plot. So uh, depending on the values of x, we have got these values for y. I hope you have understood how do we get these values of y. In place of x, if I keep this minus 1, I get here minus 3 plus 4, which is equal to 1. In place of x, if I keep minus 2 here, Shayan Ganandi, please listen here. Okay. So here you get minus 6 plus 4, that gives you minus 2. Okay, in place of x, if you keep 0 here, you will have this term 0 plus 4, which gives you 4. In place of x, if you keep 1 here, I have this value as 1. So, 3 plus 4 gives you 7. Okay, in place of x, if you keep 2, 2, 3 is 6 plus 4 gives you 10. Understood? See, this is the first time I've shown you all this, but next time we must skip small, small things. So okay? we must quickly do the calculation and write here. If you take so much time in writing, okay, you will be wasting your time. So small, small calculation, you should quickly do it in your mind. Okay, happy. if I keep this value, this is the value for y I will get. Okay. So now, um, just a second. Okay, so now this is the graph here. So for if the value of x is minus 1, then my value of y is positive 1 here. 
if my x is minus 2, value of y is minus 2. So minus 2 and minus 2 is here in this quadrant, okay? If x is 0, when x is 0, value of y is 4. So 4 is here, this point. Okay, when value of x is 1, so it is 7. 7 is something here higher up. Okay, I'm taking it here, right? And value of x is 2, then it is 10. 10 is still more higher here. I'm taking it here. Okay, it must it will be somewhere higher up. I'm taking it here because there's no much space here. Okay. So if you join these points, now I'll show you with different color pen. Okay. So if you join these points. I'll join these two points. This is not straight. You must make it with your scale, okay? One second. Okay. And further. Okay, so we see that this is the point where this straight line, this is a linear graph now, now, this line, where it cuts the x-axis, this point is called the zero of a polynomial. And yani ki, equation, polynomial equation ki value kis point pa zero ho rahi hai. If I put the value of x, what is the value of x at this point? Us value ko agar mein equation mein dalungi, to polynomial equation zero ho jayegi. So, this value of x is the zero of the polynomial. Understood? Understood? Is point for whatever is the value of x, that gives me the value of the poly, zero of the polynomial. Got it, children? Ma'am, once again, could you just repeat, ma'am? Like... This point we got, this point, where this line is intersecting x-axis, this point is the zero of a polynomial. Okay? Is point for Joby x ki value hogi. If I put that value of x in the polynomial equation, this put in this equation, I should get the polynomial value to be zero. So that value of x is the zero of the polynomial, and that value is nothing but this point. Ma'am, to y axis. Y axis kya? Ma'am, then what about y axis? Like we'll get x axis, no ma'am. Ah, so x axis pe jaha hume hume x ka hi to variable chahiye. We want x, no? Okay. X ka hi to value dalenge, tabhi to hume ek variable to yahan pe ek hi hai na x. Okay. There is only one variable for whatever value you get for y here. Man lo yahan pe four pe intersect kiya. Par yahan to koi y ka variable hi nahi. Where will yes, you put the value of y? Yes, ma'am. Are you understanding? Y ka to koi variable hi nahi hai. Okay. There is no variable for y. Here you can see it is cutting the y axis. This line is cutting the x, y axis at point 4. Yahan pe cut kar raha hai na 0 and 4. Yes, ma'am. But there is no variable you can put the value of y here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. There is only variable that is x. So, Wherever it is cutting this uh, uh, x-axis, this point, if you put that value here, you will get the value of the equation, zero of the equation. Got it? So, this is what you have done graphically. Now, algebraically, if you have to solve the zero of the polynomial, what do you get? Zero of the polynomial ke liye kya condition honi chahiye? That the polynomial equation should be equal to zero. Then only we will have the zero of the polynomial. So we equate this to 0 and get the value of x from here. 4 goes this side and becomes minus 4. 3 comes down becomes minus 4 by 3. Got it? Understood? So this is the value of x for which you have got the value of the polynomial. And it, how do you verify this? Check kaise karna hai In if you put this value of x in this equation, just see if you get 0 or not. 3 and 3 cancels. 
you have minus 4 and plus 4, which gives you 0. So this is verified. Okay. This is verified. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Shayan, Ganandi. Yes, ma'am. No, yes, ma'am. No, no, ma'am. Huh? Do chal rahe, chal me do. Is that? Please ask. Until you ask me, how will I get to know that you are not you are understanding or not? Mujhe to baad nahi pata chalega when I will take the test. Ma'am, could you just explain that whole that graph only, ma'am, once again? Okay. I am still not able to understand. See here. For every value of x, we are taking the value of 1. This you understood? Yes, ma'am. You understood this part. Now, we did not do anything different. We just plotted these values on the graph. Okay? okay. For value of x, that is x is minus 1. So, here I have x is equal to minus 1 here. And y is 1. So, that means y is 1 here in this point. Okay? This point is minus 1, 1. Okay? Yes, ma'am. This point is minus 1, 1. Next is minus 2, 2. And then minus 2 is here, minus 2 is here. So this point is another point. That is minus 2, minus 2. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Next is 0, 4. This point is 0. X axis is 0, Y is 4. So this point is 0, 4. Okay? This yes, ma'am. Got it? Then next is 1, 7. X is 1 and 7 is this is 4, 5, 6, 7. So it will be somewhere here higher. Okay. So I'm just taking the point here. Just assuming it to be higher. Yeah, 5 over, 6 over, 7 over. So I'm just taking it here. Okay. Yes. Similarly, 2, 10. X is 2. Y is still higher. 7 ke baad 8, 9, 10. Somewhere here higher. Like this. Okay, so yes. taken all these points. Understood this much? How did we plot these points? Yes, ma'am. Now I'm joining here. I will join all these points with the scale. I don't have a scale, I'm just joining it. So when you join all these points, you will find that this line crosses through x axis. It's crossing. Okay. And from whichever, at whichever point it cuts the x-axis, that point is the zero of a polynomial. Well, so then that x equals, x only equals to this, the, yes. the value. Uh, so that value of x is the zero of the polynomial. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Understood now? Yes, ma'am. Now understood. Okay. Don't confuse it with y. Okay, there is no y in this equation. Okay, so this was about linear polynomial. So I was explaining you how in a linear polynomial we can say that it has one zero. So this was an example of that. We found it graphically also, we found it algebraically also. Now we'll talk about quadratic polynomials. Quadratic means then the highest power of a variable is 2. Okay? Whose highest degree, whose degree of a polynomial is 2. So, in general, we write that equation as ax square plus bx plus c. This is the general form of an equation, quadratic equation. This is the general form. Okay? General form of a quadratic equation. Like for any quadratic equation, this is the general form. Okay, and quadratic, what we say about quadratic polynomial is that it can have at most two zeros. So, this quadratic polynomial can have one zero also, it can have two zeros also, it can have nil zeros also. Okay, but not more than two. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now, I'll show you how. 
Now, we just take an example. Now, first I'll show you for a quadratic polynomial with two zeros. I'm saying it can have this equation. Please write this equation as nil one or two zeros. Okay. Or the word is or. Okay. It's not every time that for every equation you have. But it can be nil, it can be one, it can be two, but not more than two. So if I take the polynomial equation px, now px I'm taking y here, not to confuse it with okay. X square minus four. I take this equation. Now let me plot the graph. To plot a graph, I should have values of x and y. X is the independent variable, y is the dependent variable, and I know y is x square minus 4. So I just take the small numbers here 0, 1, 2. Okay, now for minus 1, if I if in this I put the value of x to the minus 1, what do I get here? 1 minus 4 will give me minus 3. If I put x to the minus 2, that means I get 2 square, which is 4 minus 4 is 0. Are you understanding, Shayan Ganandi? Yes, ma'am. Shayan Ganandi? Yes, ma'am. Shayan uh, Ganandi, tell me now what is the value of y here? Uh, it's x square minus 4, ma'am. Uh, so, what, what will I write here? Substitute x in uh, in this. If I put the value of x to be zero, what will I get? My y here. Uh, it would be minus four, ma'am. It could be minus four. Okay. Now, what is the value here? If I have x equals to one here, what is y here? Minus three. Minus three. And here. Uh, minus two. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. Okay. Now we will plot this, these points in the graph. Please make a graph in your notebooks, everyone. And I'll be checking. You will be showing me on the camera. Okay. And please take a graph paper for this. I'm doing here like this, but you do it on a graph paper because that gives you accuracy. Ma'am, then one minute. Huh? Ma'am, then wait for... Ma'am, then one minute, ma'am, I'll come back. Okay. Okay, so I have drawn my x-axis and y-axis. Shayan, Ganandi, please do it in the notebook or do it on the graph paper. I want to see now. Okay, let's plot these points. Minus 1, minus 3. Now I can see minus 1 x has the value minus 1. And y has the value minus 3. So minus 3 is somewhere here. So minus 1 and minus 3. Here. This is the point. Okay. Then minus 2, 0. x is minus 2 and y is 0. So that means the point is here only. Similarly, we plot the other points. Hello. Okay. So we have plotted first point. We have plotted the second point. Now next point is 0 minus 4. 
Now here the value of x is 0 and y is minus 4. So minus 4 is here. Okay, this point. Then we have x as 1 and y as minus 3. 1 and minus 3. So this point is here. Okay. And other point is 2, 0. So that is x is 2 and y is 0. So that is this point. Now what do you see here? If I join these points, it is like this, like this, then like this, and like this. Is it? Just extend it further. Is it? This is what we have got? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Have you got the same yes, thing? Okay. So now what do you see here? At how many points the uh, this graph is cutting the x-axis? At how many points this graph is cutting the x-axis? Sharon? Sharon, tell me at how many points it, uh, graph is cutting the x-axis? Two points. At two points, okay. So you said two points. That means this quadratic equation should have two zeros. Okay? Okay, Shan. Yes. And what are these points? One point is minus two and other point is plus two. One point is plus two and other point is minus two. So these are the two zeros of the equation. Got it? Understood, Shyam? Uh, yes. So, which are the two zeros of the polynomial? One is this minus two, one is plus two. So, these are the two that you have found graphically. Okay, this was done graphically. Now, how to find the zeros of a polynomial algebraically? See here, x square minus four, in algebra, when we find it algebraically, we know that value of the equation has to be equal to 0. To find 0 of the polynomial, its value should be equal to 0. This much you know? This much you know? Yes. So, here I keep the x square, this side, I take minus 4 on the other side. When I take it on the other side, it becomes plus 4. Like this. This much also you know. And now I take the value of x. How will I find the value of x? This is square. If I have to remove this square, what will I do? I will take the square root. Okay. I will take the square root of this. So it becomes square root of 4. And this square root of 4 will be plus or minus. It, either it can be plus or it can be minus. So, what do I get here? Root over 4 is 2 plus or minus. So, I have got two values here. Plus 2 also and minus 2 also. That means this value of x has two values. Plus 2 and minus 2. Okay. Children understood this much? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Everyone, Ganamdeep, Shayan, Aryan. Yes, ma'am. See, we have found it graphically also. We have found it algebraically also. We have got the same values. Understood this? Any doubts here? Any doubts here? Ganamdeep, put on the video. Shayan, put on the video. See, your videos should not go off. Okay? Shyam, show me your graph. Bring it closer to the camera. Yes. Yes, good. Ganandeep, show me your graph.
Nothing is visible. Show me again. No, it's not correct. Then remove this picture. Remove the picture of your motorcycle. I can see you. Why cannot I see your book? Yes, I'm mine. Should I show? Yes, please show, beta. Yes, I can see now. Yes, good. Good, Arya. Thank you. Yes, Ganandeep. Ganandeep, show me your work. Don't put off your video, Aryan. Ganandeep, I'm waiting to see your work. Hello, Ganandeep. Okay, children, we'll continue. We'll talk to Ganandeep later. Okay, so have you understood this, Shayan? Is this clear to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is the first thing that we found out, that the polynomial equation has two zeros. Now I will show you how the polynomial equation can have nil zero. Nil, nil means nothing. Not even zero. Okay. Zero is still one value. Nil means nothing. We'll Nandi. take an example of this. Yes, Ganandi? No. I was having some issue. Okay, show me your graph. Okay. Okay. But be neat in your work. You have made two, three lines. Keep your video on. Okay. See, videos should not go off. Okay. Keep this in mind. Shayan, Ganandi, Parin, videos should not go off. If you want to go somewhere, tell me before going. Okay. Now, okay, let's, I'll show you about nil zero. Okay. And please make a note of whatever we are doing. Nil zero of quadratic polynomial. I'll just show you this. The class time is over. So it's quickly just take a polynomial equation px equals to x square plus 4. Okay. So this is the polynomial equation. Now to make a... First I'll show you graphically. Now to show you graphically, I need some values of x and some values of y. Okay. एक पॉइंट चाहिए मुझे प्लॉट करने के लिए पॉइंट क्या होता है एक्स एंड वाई इज दिस ये पढ़ा है आपने प्रीवियस क्लास में व्हाट इज द पॉइंट पॉइंट इज पॉइंट एक्स एंड वाई सो आई नीड वन एक्स एंड आई नीड वन वाई ओके सो वाई इज व्हाट दिस इक्वेशन इटसेल्फ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर सो आई पुट सम वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स हियर से माइनस टू माइनस वन जीरो वन टू so correspondingly, what values I will get for y? Tell me that. Ganandeep, tell me. If I have x equals to minus 2 in this equation, what will I get my y here? Ma'am, it will be uh, 6. 6? 2 yeah. square is 4. Minus 2 square is 4. 4 plus 4. Oh, sorry, it's 8, 8, 8. 8. Tell me this. Uh, it's 5. 5. Shayan, tell me this. This yeah. five. five. Aryan, this I mean, eight. eight. Okay, now plot a graph with me as I am doing, you also do. Okay. 
So this is the negative x-axis. This is the positive x-axis. I have one minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on. I have one, two, three, and so on. Okay, here also I have positive numbers. Here also I have negative numbers. Okay, now x is minus 2 and y is 8. y is positive 8 means somewhere here higher up. Okay. 8 somewhere here pe hoga kahi to 8. So this point is minus 2, 8. Okay. Other one is minus 1, 5. Minus 1 and 5. Let's take 5 is positive x axis there. will be somewhere here. Okay. So this is minus 1. 5. This point is minus 1, 5. Then other one is 0, 4. So when value of x is 0, y is 4. So 4 is here somewhere closer to 5. So it's here. Okay. Then next is 1, 5. When x is 1, value of y is 5. It's here. When x is 2, value of y is 8. Here. So what I'm getting here, like this, like this, if I join all points, I get it like this, right? So this is the point I have uh, graph I have got like this. Huh? Okay. So this is the graph we have got. So what is the value? Can you see any value here? There is, is there any point where this graph is cutting the x-axis? Tell me, is there any point where it is cutting x-axis? No, ma'am. It is not cutting x-axis. Okay. Not cutting x-axis. So that means there is no zero for it. Okay. So this graph is showing that there is no zero for this equation. Understood this much graphically? Yes, ma'am. Understood everyone? Shyan, Ganandi, Parin? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll see algebraically. Now this is the equation we know to find the zero of a polynomial. This equation should be equal to zero. This is the zero ke equal to zero. Right? The next thing is we take the uh, this positive 4 on the other side, we get it minus 4. Now we take the square root of this. We need to find the value of x. x kya hoga? Root over minus 4. Okay. Is there any root of a negative number? No, ma'am. No, there is not. Because this becomes the imaginary number now. This is not a real number. This becomes imaginary number. Okay. This becomes imaginary number. Now, iske bare mein aapko nahi pata hai. Thik hai? So that means imaginary kya hota hai? Imagine karte. There is nothing real about it. Okay? So there is no real root for this equation. Okay? Therefore, no real values. Are you getting? There is no real value for this. It has no zero, nil zero. We were talking about nil zero, no? The quadratic equation may we have nil zero also nil zero so that's nil nil means nothing okay so no zero so we can write here this this equation has no real zero therefore this equation has no real zero okay okay yes ma'am yes, ma if you have understood show me the thumbs up if not understood, then tell me. Great. Please practice it. Okay. And see, whenever you are in the class, the video should not go off. Okay. And do as I am doing. Because anytime I can tell you to show me a notebook. Okay. Thank you for today, children. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Please revise it. So what we have done in this class, just quickly we'll do the recap. 
we did the straight line graph okay linear polynomial then we came to quadratic polynomial and here we saw that quadratic polynomial can have zeros can have nil zero it can have one zero it can have two zeros but not more than two because the highest power in this is two so we don't get have any zero greater than two so if we plot we have just randomly taken an example like this we plotted this graph and we saw that this graph has two zeros it's crossing the x-axis cutting the x-axis at two points and these two points were plus two and minus two and algebraically also we found out the same values okay then we had we took an example to show that it has nil zero also so we took this example this is also a quadratic polynomial which has highest power as two okay we plotted this graph we took values of x and y we plotted the graph and we saw that the, there is no point at which it is cutting the x-axis this was the x-axis there is no point at which it is cutting x-axis so that means there is no zero and when we found this algebraically also we saw that there is no real value of this okay so whatever was the graph was telling us the same thing we have found algebraically also so there is no real value of this zero okay right children yes, go through it nicely because your first exercise in this chapter is or is based on this only okay if you see the first exercise graphically you have to find okay how many zeros it has just see your open your book and see the first exercise so that is all based on this so okay right children yes ma'am okay so please revise thank you for today bye bye good night bye